What is up guys? It is Ken Iron here and to kick off the New Year's I wanted to give you a list yes a list of my top five most anticipated games of 20 whenever. It was going to be of 2017 but I know for certain that at least one of these games is not coming out in 2017. So, whatevers. But, you know, Happy New Year, guys, and let's get started. So, in at number five, we have Ukulele. Now, Ukulele is kind of a... It's a Banjo and Kazooie-style game. It's a platformer. For those of you who don't know what Banjo and Kazooie is, it's a platformer. Uh, basically, what you do is... You're in an open level, and you get collectibles, and, like, the more collectibles you get, the you the more of the level itself you get to unlock, and then you have to reach some kind of end goal. So, that sounds really neat, and of course, I love collectathons. Like, collectathons are just great. But, uh, one interesting thing about this is that, uh, lately which is the little bat thing up here. Laylee has a really neat uh, attitude. I think it's a she, but anyway, it makes a lot of, lot of jokes, but those jokes are fourth wall breaks, and that's, what, that's the type of humor it has in the game. And who else do we know that does fourth wall breaks? Deadpool. But anyway... I think it'll have a really light-hearted, fun tone, and I think the gameplay itself is going to be overall pretty great. So, in at number four, we have The Last of Us Part Two. Now, me, along with pretty much any other human being who's ever played the game, I love The uh, Last of Us Part One, or just The Last of Us. So, but... Of course, you know, you got those few odd people who didn't like it, but, you know, I personally, personally loved it, and, well, the first game, it was about, it was about love, and Joel reacting to his love for, for Ellie, because she reminded him of his daughter. But this one, the second game, is supposed to be about hate. And that's going to be really neat. And, of course, Ellie's grown up some. And the game is actually more from her perspective. She's the main character. She's the character you play as through most of the game. Maybe even the entire game. But I'm not sure if there's going to be, like, a little chapter where you play as Joel or something. But from my understanding, she's the main character. She's the main focus. And when the first game was about love, this one is now about hate. And it's going to be really neat seeing everything from kind of her perspective and, like, seeing how she calls the shots instead of Joel now that she's grown up and she's learned a lot of things. So, that sounds pretty neat. And that's the game that I was certain was not going to be coming out in 2017. In fact, I think it's coming out in 2018 maybe even 2019 if they don't hurry it up. But anyway, that sounds pretty neat. And in at number three, we have Spider-Man for the PS4. Now, Insomniac is doing the game, and Insomniac has a really uh, good rep. They do Ratchet & Clank, they did Spyro, um, Infamous, and I think the game is called Sunset Overdrive the other franchise that they do but it's going to be really neat to see where they go with this you know their collaboration with sony and the well i honestly we haven't had a really good spider-man game since the ultimate spider-man now don't don't hate me because i haven't played spider-man 2 and i hear it's really good but the last good Spider-Man game I played was the Ultimate Spider-Man on the PS2, and I think a Spider-Man game is well-deserved. Not to mention, the uh, the suit itself looks really cool, you know, it's, it's really different. I'm glad Insomniac kind of took this sort of approach. 
They wanted to make it different, but not so different that you couldn't tell it was Spider-Man. And so, I think that's really neat. And I, I do not have a doubt that they will do good. Like, they... There is no way they're going to mess this up. I mean, it's Insomniac. They're pretty good. And in at number two, we have Tekken 7. Now, I've always been a really big fan of the Tekken franchise. It was some of the first games I played on the uh, PS2 and PS1 and, you know, in the old skating rink arcades and all that. And it was just some of my childhood games. Now, Tekken 7, the... Last game, Tekken 6, I didn't care for its story mode too much, but um, from my understanding, Tekken 7 is going to take a more cinematic approach, kind of like the Mortal Kombat games, and so that'll be really neat, but the only thing I'm really kind of worried about is uh, their guest character here, and he's not even really a guest character, he's actually really important to the story, but it's Akuma, and... Akuma is not originally from Tekken. He's actually from um, Street Fighter. And the thing I'm worried about is I don't mind that he's in the game and even that he's important to the story. But my my biggest worry is that um, they're going to bring Street Fighter elements into the gameplay itself. And I really don't want that. Because to me, I, I want it to be that old Tekken style that we all know and love. And so, but I don't think they'll bring in the, all the Street Fighter mechanics into the gameplay. And all in all, I think it'll be a really neat game or nice uh, change of pace in the story, all that. So in it, number one is none other than Crash Bandicoot The Insane Trilogy. Crash Bandicoot was my first childhood games it is some of my first memories ever playing any games and it's just it's really fun to see it coming back and i know activision and uh let's see they're not actually making the game it's i want to say radical entertainment they're making the game and they've had some experience with crash games before some good <laughs> some bad some iffy shut up phone and, uh, anyway, so, it's going to be kind of, it's kind of a mixed bag, but we've already seen gameplay of it, and the fact that they are doing nothing but, uh, the first three Naughty Dog games is really, it's kind of, it's kind of nice, you know? I mean, I know some people don't like a bunch of remasters and remakes, but I think this is well-deserved. Not only that, but if this game does well, hopefully we can get a uh, a remake of Crash Team Racing because, well, that's like my favorite game ever of all time. But uh, anyways, guys, that's the end of this one, and tell me what you think, and uh, have a great day, everybody, and goodbye, people.